about my mind. Take me home, country road. Mama is a good, a good singer. <laughs> Hold the flag a little bit more upright. Yeah. Is that good? Double it over to where you're standing. But the drone is good. Clean, clean, clean. We go to Fox for for a service in this fork and to change the travel on the both shocks. Mama! Mama, karaoke! It's okay. I'm alone. I'm like, not cool. <laughs> <laughs> How was your season this year? The 2019 season was a little bit like a roller coaster for me. I had a really good start and getting to know the new team and all the riders, the bikes, the mechanics and everything and it was really cool and uh, yeah I started the season really really great in the World Cup, uh, Danish Championships and everything and then I had a big crash which um, yeah made me injured for pretty much the rest of the season so from yeah the middle of the season in the summer I was not able to brace at my level and yeah that's when the roller coaster went down. <laughs> yeah. So Milan Tell me, how was your season this year? Um, if I have to describe it, I would say it was a dream season. I mean, compared to where I was last year, I think I made a huge step. So my season was uh, okay. So my form has been pretty good through most of the season, but basically like every big race, something's gone wrong. Whether that's like getting ill at the first couple, or having a puncture, or... Um, and it's like I'm just changing my rear hanger, so um, it's been it's been pretty good, but quite frustrating at times. I was not on top level in the beginning, and uh, I think from the first World Cup on, I started to feel better, and I think I really grew into the season. I had some heavy crashes, which uh, yeah, That's it was. Where to start. <laughs> Uh, was some painful days in the beginning of the season, but then uh, when the cross country races started, I I felt good and I felt my progress. And uh, yeah, sadly in the World Cups, I I never had uh, the perfect race. I always had some some problems, some technical problems, yeah, some guys which which crash into me. I had one race which works all super good, that was in Wadi Sole, mm. I could make a top 10, but yeah, sadly that was, uh, I got stopped in every race a little bit. I'm the guy, I, I try everything or I go all in, yeah. and uh, yeah, sometimes it works and then I'm pretty fast and sometimes it blows me up a little bit and then I'm a little bit more back. It was uh, an amazing season for me because a uh, lot of uh, new athletes on the team and I do my first uh, podium of season in World Cup in uh, Enderite so it was a good uh, memories for me. I think the best moment was, was in my race in Fordiso where I was in the last lap and I was so focused on, on my job, on what I, what I needed to do you know, enjoying the, the race itself, enjoying all the people, all the crowd and then I crossed the finish line 
and I saw the you know the the board under the mm -hmm. finish, and I and I, I realized I was running in the top ten, mm -hmm. and I didn't know at all where I was before, mm -hmm. so I was really surprised. Then, then I was like, oh, fuck, yeah, go go. So outside, I did my first top ten. Yeah. I was tenth, and I really realized that. I'm one of the best in the world and I was really proud and so happy for what we did together in the team. And then yeah, for sure the weekend after I, I podium in Nova Mesto and yeah, that stands out. Maybe that's my best result ever. My best moment of the season in the race was, I mean the Europeans, to be on the podium with you was very, it was super cool. And also, yeah, in Valle Sole, uh, top 10 finish in the World Cup, it's always Mm, a great. nice, a nice feeling. The, the strength of, of the team is that we are well balanced. There is not one leader. It's like every one of us, at some point, was the fastest. It brings you up faster if you have people which stay behind you, which believe in you. And yeah, that's the thing we have here actually in the team. Yeah. You all played a big role in the, in the progression I made this year. We can learn from everybody something and yeah. maybe this brings us all together a little bit forward. It's nice to have some uh, different uh, nationality on the team. We want to come here in the living room and we want to talk together and hear about each other's life and so on. And I think that's a big strength that, like, yeah, we are actually friends. What is for you mountain biking? What does it give to you? I mean, what? It's freedom to me. Just freedom. As soon as I stepped on the bike when I was young, I, you know, you can go wherever you want uh, in the nature and it's also healthy, so freedom. I love the challenge of it and I think with mountain biking there's so so many different aspects you've got like the physical side of it the technical side of it the tactical mental side sure it's a hard sport you have to suffer in training you have to suffer in racing but you also need to have funny moments to keep to keep the balance. Stay with both feet on the ground. Just listen to a few people who are experienced and set goals for yourself. Just just focus on that. Never give up actually, because uh, otherwise you never know what you would have been able to achieve. I really believe in the American saying that hard work pays off. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger and uh, the pain goes away. Uh, I would say my favorite quote or power quote is Dr. Ate Melho. It's a, it's a quote of my province. It means like uh, I, I, I fight and I will survive. That's what I always keep in mind. That's a World Cup final, you guys. <laughs> no more jokes. <laughs> yeah. Many things are at stake. And let's be serious now. We lost after. Oh no.